Okay, so this is probably going to be a relatively fast video. I don't plan on being here for too long. But yesterday, if you guys are unaware, Oda basically revealed in an SBS with kids, not his entire flashback, but basically how the kid pirates were formed. It's essentially like how they came together. And there was a, I, I was not a big fan of this. I feel like, you know, this type of information should be revealed in the story, in the narrative completely. I don't like the idea that the SBS question has given us big reveals like that, especially for a character as, I mean, important as Yusuke's kid. Um, the big point of comparison that people are making is basically this, the, the thought process that Law also had the origins of his crew revealed in an SBS. And my response to this is, well, this is after Law had an actual flashback. You see, the actual revelation, and shout out to uh, Library of Ohara. No, his name is New World Archer now. I think he changed his name. Shout out to New, New World Archer or Archer on Twitter who basically posted all this. I don't know how Archer gets the SBS so fast, but he does. Um, That's besides the point. But um, he said that the Kid Pirates were... Uh, on an island essentially and well actually I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest i didn't even read it i did not read the flash but the, the origins because i don't want to that's not how i expect it to consume that flashback and that's not how i'm going to read that flashback i think that's like that's really really whack um the formation of the kid power should have been shown to us in the manga the sbs's are i i, I like the sbs questions i like when it's like oh um, Luffy's favorite food is meat. <laughs> Nami's favorite thing to do is, uh, I don't know, get money. Like, it. I like whenever they ask them uh, SBS questions that are like non-intrusive um, to, to the story, like to, 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 to the plot. Where it's like, oh, Nami's birthday is on this day. Luffy's birthday is on this day. Oh, look, five, six, that co with his um, devil fruit. You know, the questions that are not super impactful on the plot or on the story or like whatever you know but when it comes to something like kids whole flashback or just like the formation of the kid pirates it's not okay because kid as a character is extremely lacking right now we could take anything anything that you could possibly deliver us with kid we'll take it you know um even if you give us like a little glimpse of like the kid if you if you show us use this kid as a young little kid as, as like a child no pun intended show us kid as a child like a flashback with like him and killer just hanging out that's better than this like give us something you know he's like you have all of these panels that you waste on these smiles and these gifters and all of these goofy aspects of wano and it's like you could have spent any of those giving kid a flashback or showcasing something from kids origins but instead you save it for an sbs question like um, I have posted a little clip on Twitter of me ranting, but Twitter is a cesspool. It's so stupid. Uh, I feel like this is better for, for me here to post this on YouTube. I think it'll be at least... I'm not looking for you guys to agree with me. I just want to get my thoughts out, to be completely honest. And um, yeah, I don't like this at all. So my conclusion from Oda just revealing kids' flashback in this uh, in the SBS questions was just like, man... Um, I feel like I'm, I'm just done with the kid agenda, man. It's like, it's over, bro. Because now this is more fuel to the, that. Uh, it's going to be added to the fire in regards to kid being slandered. And it's like, when you're someone who, who's fighting for a character like kid, who his entire character is based wholly off of faith. You know, it's like you, I have faith. And doing things like this just make it so difficult to continuously fight for kid. You know, because um, he did that with ex Drake. He did that with Law. Law is a top five character. That's why Law is right now Law is fighting who? Right now Law is fighting Blackbeard. Because Law is a character who has earned that right to be in that position. Kid never earned the right to even be amongst the Supernova Trio with Luffy, with or with Law. He didn't earn that right. He didn't do anything beforehand to earn that. Prior to being in that position, Law had an incredible flashback. Law had an origin story with Shanks. Law was just built up so nice so heavily so he was just delivered well before he even had that moment you know and this was like whenever everyone's jumping a character you kind of want to defend him you kind of want to fight for him to be like that one support group that he has when he's getting cooked but in reality when stuff like this happens it's just like man like fuck it bro it's, it's a waste of time it's a complete waste of time but but yeah i feel like i'm done with the kid agenda bro no more fucking no more useless kid agenda from me one, because it seems as if, you know, you're fighting for a lost cause and stuff like this just, it just ruins it, bro. It just, it makes it, it makes it so difficult to continue to fight for kid. It makes it so hard and I'm not, doing, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm, I'm retiring. Um, if anyone, if, if anyone wants to take up the mantle of being that one guy who supports kid, be my guest, but I don't recommend it because if shit like this gonna continues to happen throughout the story, it's going to be one hell of a fucking ride for you, bro. Good luck. That's about it, man. Peace.